Hello YouTubers, Neil Neil's Coins. Okay, this is my second attempt to make this video. Had some uh, technical difficulties in the first one. Got that straightened up. Okay, as far as the club's concerned, we had a pretty good turnout considering it's rained for the last four or five days here in Georgia. West Georgia. Um, had a good meeting. We uh, had three more uh, club members join tonight. We voted them in. Uh, the Howard family. Uh, we're glad to have them. What else we do? Uh, we voted in a couple uh, club members uh, wanted to uh, suggest having uh, a quick prayer before the meeting, so we voted on that, uh, which was voted in. So along with the Pledge of Allegiance, we'll have a short prayer prior to starting the uh, meeting starting next week uh, we'd had a pretty good bit of things on the auction uh, we completed all our baskets and uh, quite enjoyable uh, meeting tonight real nice meeting tonight all right now as far as my purchases go uh, let's see what I'm going to start with. Okay. Uh, a couple videos back, three or four videos back, I uh, showed you these. I believe I bought 14 of them. Since then, I've sold probably, I don't know, five or six of them. Uh, across the auction block tonight, we had another one come through. But this one's from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, anything Tennessee I like. Um, Tennessee fan. Uh, of course it says Chattanooga, April 13th. Like, like that one. Uh, 13 cent stamp. And what you had to do is it with these is you had to wait in line at the bank on the first day of issue the 13th and then you had to leave the bank and go stand in line at the post office with your money now and what they would do is they would stamp the the ink stamp and put well they put this one on first and stamp it uh so you had to stand in line to get that done and uh I'd hate to be the person with, you know, five or six waiting on the guy in front of you that had, you know, two or three hundred dollars worth or more. Uh, but that's how you got these. You, you paid 13 cents a piece for the stamp and they would, they would put their seal on it. No, these are not expensive. They run anywhere from, uh, you know, about eight, ten bucks a piece. Uh, even if it didn't have the the stamp and the uh, seal on there, just a regular uncirculated two dollar bill, about five, six bucks. So it didn't really make a lot of value, but people collect them for the the cities. Um, there's one guy in our club. He he collects every one in like Georgia, he's trying to get every, find them in every county or every city. Just, you know, collectible. All right, what else next? What's next? What's next? Okay. Now, this is something I've never bought before. I don't even think it's come across the auction. Uh, yeah, we've had some go across the auction block, but not in packaging like this or not 
nowhere near something like this. Uh, real nice padded packaging. And what this is, it's a gemstone. It's a topaz 1.15 carat. Uh, it's not really a dark blue. It's real light blue. It's been in this so long in the dark. I believe if I let this thing sit out in the sun a little while and get some heat into it, it'll it'll uh, make it blue a little bit more. Because that's how they make them. They get them hot. And uh, they turn blue. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Come across the auction block. Like I said, I only... Got it because it was different. Um, I think I gave eight dollars for it. It's it's worth that just just to have, you know. All right, next up, uh, we got a sixty-five, nineteen sixty-five SMS set. Um, sixty-five was in a vanilla. Uh, if you go back about. A year ago on my videos, I highlighted, I did a video on the um, SMS sets that were in a box, long linear box, 66, 67 is that way. Uh, I didn't have a 65, so I thought I would uh, share this one with you. I bought it for the video. Now this happens, happens to be a pretty nice set. Su really surprised uh, on the quality. Now, SMS set, like I said in my other videos, they're not quite a proof coin and they're not quite a uh, mint state coin for circulation, public circulation. Uh, they're kind of in between as far as the finish of the coins. Now, 1965 Kennedys, they're 40% silver. Actually, 65 through 70 are 40% silver. And uh, don't let nobody tell you any different. Because I've had that happen to me several times. Uh, real nice coin. There's not a lot of bag marks or... There's a little spot above, right in front of, up or above his nose there in the field. Or is that? Yeah, that's on the coin. It's not on the wrapper. I think it may go 65, 66 grade. But like I said, all the finishes, even the dime, quarter, nickel, are special finish. Let me zoom back out here. Put this thing over. Special mint set token inside in the United States. Reverse is real nice too. On 65s, you need to look for the uh, double die reverse. The UN, the UN and I of the United States. You can really see the doubling and the F of of. Uh, you can see it. They're worth a whole lot. You know. Three, four hundred bucks in a good grade. So it's, you know, if you want to search, buy you a bunch of these and start searching. Uh, they go for, these packets go for about ten to fifteen dollars. Uh, you might be able to find some cheaper. I gave, uh, what did I give for this? I can't remember. I knew it was a good coin, good set. I didn't have it, so I purchased it. Purchased it this evening. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Uh, before I show you the next two. Uh, I featured this proof set. Um, I don't know. Four videos back. Five videos back. Um, that the box was different. The other box flipped up. 
been doing some research. I've only found one other one that was like this uh, on the internet, and he was doing the same thing. He was asking the same questions. Uh, this is sort of like that box of the proof, the SMS sets of the 66, 67, the long linear box. Evidently, this thing's going to be kind of rare. Um, I asked a gentleman in our club tonight that knows it all. And he's never seen one before. And he's been in the business 40 years or better. Uh, he's never seen one. So I'm going to do some more research on this. Stay tuned on that. I'll be filling you in. Now the next coin I want to show you is an 8 real cop. 17, 15 to 1730, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, it's a Mexico Mint, King Philip the Fifth, eight real Cobb. Don't ask me why it's named Cobb. It's probably a whole nother dis discussion for another video. But this is part of, sort of like pirate treasure, I guess you could say. They find a lot of these things on sunken ships. This thing's been handled a lot. I did have it checked. It is real silver. Uh, and they weigh 26.73 grams, give or take a little bit. A couple points. Either way. Uh, 8 real. They do make a four to one and a one and a half uh this is the coat of arms if this thing was flat it would have shown the mexico city mark here and then the date would be down here but they are fakes of these that's why i had it checked now this thing actually come out of a collection that I just purchased. Um, I priced it uh, via Google. Try to get it as close as I can. I get it home. I get on eBay. And there's one on there on eBay right now Rated a F fine 15 certified NGC for $2,200. Now, I don't know if that's anywhere in the ballpark. I don't think so. Only thing I've, only thing I've seen on them were that were, uh, they were like 80, 50 to 80 bucks. I don't know if I won the lottery on this thing or not. It's been handled. That's why it's so shiny. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on it. There is some old toning here that's not wore off, of course, down inside. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I just want to show this with you. I may do another video once I know some more on this coin. Uh, where'd my wrapper go? There it is. All right. Now, the next coin I'm going to show you is probably the prettiest Morgan dollar that I've ever owned. And let me tell you something. I have owned thousands of them. <sighs> it 
the uh, last one I had. I think it's uh, maybe the picture on my channel, my logo. Uh, that was a real pretty coin. I did a video on it. Now, this coin here is an 1883, same as the other one. But check this one out. 1883 Morgan Silver Dollar. Really frosted. Head, hair. Everything's really nicely frosted. Now, this is where I had the technical difficulties earlier. Now, I'm going to show you something. This thing here is deep mirror proof like. The fields are proof like. This is the fields right here. Now I'm fixing to show you. thing is gorgeous and this camera don't do it any good it's toned it's evidently it was in an album when I first seen it I thought it was a real proof coin now being deep mirror proof like or proof like it shows everything see all these little hairline little dents and dings and up here a little bit there a little bit here now if this was a regular uh mint state coin in a high grade you wouldn't even see that that would just blend right in Let's see if i can do it yeah right there there and there and that's where you you would see um issues anyway now look at this face the cheek this is a probably the cleanest cheek i've ever seen it's got a little a little bit of shine here that's from coming in and out of these packs just eating the uh You know, kind of rubbing the uh, toning off. Evidently, this thing was in a vanilla envelope for quite some time. Now, I'm going to turn it over. Like I said, on the back, real frosty field. I mean, excuse me, devices. Everything is frosty on the eagle. And then when I hold it just right, bam. You can almost see me in it. It's so reflective. Almost see me right there. Now it looks like there's a fingerprint in this area. I hope it's on the plastic. If you was to take it out of plastic, it would be more reflective because the plastic's kind of interfering with it. I plan on sending this coin off. To get any money out of it, you'd have to send it off and have it graded. I can do this all day. Sorry, guys. Anyway, like I said, this one's a, a keeper anyway. Even from a 
good distance away. Pretty nice. It is 1883 Philadelphia Mint. There's no mint mark. Haven't checked it for any varieties or anything. But I will be doing that if there's anything special about it. I'll I'll uh, make another video. Alrighty, well I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Me running my mouth. Um, stay tuned for another video. I got some other stuff to go through. Uh, like I said, I bought a collection that the more uh, that this thing top come out of uh only thing other than that uh just a bunch of common stuff uh but i did get 51 pounds of wheat pennies that i'm going through i did find some cool wheat pennies these pennies wheat pennies are unsearched 51 pounds is about 12,200 and something uh, wheat pennies, 200 and, yeah, 240 wheat pen or pennies, or, excuse me, cents, uh, is a pound. So, you do the math, about 12,000 something pennies. But I'm separating them, I'm gonna roll them up by date. Uh, I've already got started on them. I don't know if I'll do a video on that or not, because it's kind of boring. But, uh, stay tuned for something like that. I don't know if I'll, it's kind of boring. I, I spent like 10 hours and I ain't even halfway through them yet. But I found some good coins, so maybe it'll be worth it. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.